This is Randy Thompson coming to you live with Trudy Adams and Miss Melody. This is either the fourth or the fifth time we've asked Melody to stay connected between Trudy's legs and reins at the canter. So this is a big changing point for any horse and rider to go through from a green horse that goes on a loose rein or whatever and Melody's hot and a nervous kind of horse so we have to work double hard to get her there. Take your time. Supple. 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 Think of how you can use the feeling of the leg yield or the shoulder in to get her in her neck. Like you'll notice you're starting to pull on your arms. Do you feel that? It's where you need to lift your hand up instead of down. Pick your rein up instead of down. Feel the difference? Good. It's all right. We don't care if she breaks. That's right. Well, she's used to running off. This. Now you're starting to feel when she disconnects from you. <laughs> I love it. Those are magic words. Don't run off. Because <laughs> she wasn't really aware. She wasn't really able to control that before. So it's a big deal. For Melody to stay connected at the canter. And to stay on the same lead front and back. Good, Trudy. That was the right thing to do. So if she starts taking you, you want to think of something different to do, like get off the 20-meter circle you're on, head across a diagonal, and you know what happens in the diagonals. That's right. Now bring her shoulder over more so she picks up your inside seat bone. Do a spiral. That's it. Just keep doing different things with her. That's it. You know what's going to happen when you go across a diagonal, right? Good, good. That's right. You do have to get stronger to tell her not to run through you. Melody has quite a, quite a history. It's taken us four years to get her to this point where we have a willing control. Well, not always willing like you saw, but it's not a bad thing. Good. Take your time. Yep. Just keep asking her to connect. Good, Trudy. Good, good. If it's easier, just do trot canter transitions. Like if you think she can only do 10 steps of canter, do 10 steps of canter into a stretchy trot. That's right. Now you. Oh well, then do a medium kind of trot. Just whatever trot it is that she stays connected with you. Okay, get her connected with you. Connect her. That's normal. That's normal for the head to go up. It's not a bad thing. It's where you can soften her more so that she doesn't do that. But I'm not saying that's even going to happen today. But that's your dream, right? So there's nothing you've done that's caused this. It's just where she is. So you think all you're doing is untangling the cobwebs of her brain, right? And you're teaching her. That was nice. Nice preparation. You're teaching her how to have different basics now. Take your time. Slower. Slower. Supple. Supple. Loosen her jaw. Loosen her pole until she trots. Praise her. Loosen her jaw. Loosen her pole. That's right. And when you're ready, you're going to canter. You're just going to keep loosening her jaw, loosen her pole, using her neck. I know you'll last about three minutes. Good. Take your time. Loosen her jaw. Loosen her pole. <laughs> Good. Loosen her jaw. Loosen her pole. And she doesn't know how to loosen her jaw and her pole at the canter. So you're teaching her this now, Trudy. As I said, Melody's a hot, nervous horse who's always had issues with speed at the canter and running through the aids. Well, she never knew how to stay connected. Good, good. Soften. It's all right. It's all right. Remember, you're teaching. You're teaching her how to stay connected. There is nothing you can do wrong or her right now. For her to stay in that canter is kind of a miracle because remember how she just bolted around for so long? So look for the things that she's doing right and remember to praise her. If she gives you one stop, soft step, it's a miracle and your job is to praise her. Okay. Take your time. Okay. Okay. Good. Take your time. It's all right. Soften her. Soften. That's it. Praise her. Soften and praise. 
Your reins are too long. Well, did, I forgot to tell you this was hard, right? I'm sorry. Oh, by the way, Trudy, this is hard. <laughs> That's it. That's it. So, yes, it's not going to be easy because she doesn't understand how to stay connected. And she's not sure what to do, so she'll go back to some old habits. But none of them are the bad habits. So she just doesn't really know what to do. She's trying to figure it out, and so are you, right? It's okay. It's part of the process. That's right. Just make a lot of mistakes. That's it. Make some mistakes. The more mistakes you get, the faster she'll... That's good, Trudy. Experiment with different things. What can you do to get her to relax, to, uh, to soften her jaw or her paw? What do you have to do? That's right. You might have to get more demanding, right? Now, the one thing I didn't hear is I never heard you praise her. I know. But, well, didn't you at some point feel like she might have given you her jaw or maybe her paw, right? Yeah. Yeah. So what you want to do is realize she really needs you to let her know when she does even a half of a step right. I'm done. <sighs> you to walk around and we'll try it one more time, okay? Yep. Yeah? Okay, now remember, your job is to praise her. If you think she's trying, praise her. Praise her. Praise her. That's right. Soften her and praise her. That's it. That's it. Play with it. Play with it. That's right. If she gets too quick, just slow her down. Put her into a trot. That's it. Praise her. Good. That, that was good. That's right. That was much better, wasn't it? What was different? What did you do different? I praised her. I know, you praised her. <laughs> she said, I am like my mommy, and she just praised me. <laughs> That's right. She's like my black dog. She doesn't get a lot of praise and love. She pouts. <laughs> she pouts. That was good.